Welcome to our channel Agriculture and Technology. In today's video, we are going to see the advantages and disadvantages of crop rotation. Before, we proceed, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon for immediate notification. What is crop rotation? Crop rotation is a method of farming where a number of different plants are grown one after the other on a field so that the soil stays healthy and fertile. What are the advantages of crop rotation? 1. Increases soil fertility. Prolonged planting of the same crop type leads to the depletion of specific nutrients in the soil. Each crop type has a different nutrient interaction with the soil, they each release and absorb different types of nutrients. Because of this, crop rotation increases soil fertility by controlling deficient or excess nutrients because it replenishes nutrients that are not available or absorbing nutrients that are in abundance. 2. Increases Crop Yield Crop rotation increases the harvest obtained from a single seasonal harvest. Not only does one get a variety of crops after each season because of the incorporation of different crop types, but also a general bounty harvest. The availability of nutrients from the soil provides abundant nourishment to all plants, therefore, ensuring success in the yield produced. 3. Increase in Soil Nutrients Crop rotation allows the land to regenerate and rejuvenate its self-nutrients without having to apply more nutrients through the use of fertilizers. Leaving the land bare for a season allows the land to regenerate the soil nutrients lost through absorption by plants harvested in the previous season. 4. Reduces Soil Erosion Crop rotation helps to reduce raindrop impact to the soil and general erosion by water because the roots of the plants hold the top layer soil together. Trees planted together with crops in the farms also assists in preventing soil erosion. 5. Limits the concentration of pests and diseases. Similar plants tend to have the same pathogens, therefore, crop rotation intercepts the pest life cycle and their habitat. A cycle entails similar events that happen in constant rotation, meaning that the infestation of pests and diseases happens in the season. As a farmer, when aware of the kinds of pests and diseases that break out at a given time of the year and the crops affected, you can plant the host plant at a different season when the chances of infestation are low. This lowers the risk of plants getting infested and equally allows the farmer to grow crops each season without using pesticides, which is good for the environment. 6. Reduces the stress of weeds. Weeds are a constant nuisance to any farmer and control can be done through tillage or mowing. They are a major enemy to crops as they bring competition of nutrients. Crop rotation thus reduces the population of weed or better yet, denies them an opportunity to grow. 7. Improves the soil structure. Crop rotation helps prevent soil compaction thus improving the physical condition of the soil. This allows for good conditions for seed germination and root proliferation. It also helps with other soil processes such as water infiltration and aeration, which have a lot of benefits to the crops and improves the composition of the soil. 8. Reduces pollution. Crop rotation increases the nutrients in the soil, thus allows the farmer to plant crops successfully without the need for applying fertilizers. Crop rotation also reduces the constant infestation of crops by pests and diseases, stopping the need of spraying the crops with pesticides. Disadvantages of crop rotation 1. It involves risk. In crop rotation, Investing in a season involves the input of much money to buy different seedlings of the different types of crops to be planted. The success, however, for each crop type is not guaranteed and one can end up incurring a loss of harvest. Pests and diseases from other crops can spread and infect more crops. There is also the risk of a certain crop yield not being successful and that was the only crop type grown meaning there will be no yields for that planting season and the farmer will have to wait for the next season. 2. Improper implementation can cause more damage. Improper implementation of this technique causes much more harm than good. If one lacks the technical know-how of crop rotation, 
there is no need to experiment because there can be nutrient buildup that will take a longer time to correct. One has to have the skills to know what crops can be planted after the other and in which season for the process to be successful. 3. Obligatory Crop Diversification The practice of crop rotation is necessary to improve yields. Crop diversification also requires investment in different planting techniques that costs time and money because each crop needs a different type of attention. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos.